Hey, Tarif, welcome to your general love read, okay? Let's see what Spirit wants to focus on today. All right. So, Om Om, all right? Uh, the frequency of B, violet frankincense, so soothing, grounding, calming, okay um maybe some intermittent fasting okay uh really being mindful of the aromas around us okay the sun the world justice and the star Ooh, that is interesting okay the world and justice and the star okay but coming out with that sun energy, okay? Very interesting. It's like you're coming into this rising energy, all right? For those of you that are new, welcome. I am an intuitive. I uh, whew, channel inner knowing, okay? Uh, through spirit guides, through the cards. Those of you returning, I appreciate you. I love you. I am just so grateful to have you in my life. If you'd like a personal reading, if you'd like to learn about the books I've written, if you want to find out more about the shamanic work and the holistic work that I do, all of that's down below. Uh, you can also find me at mindsetunicorn.me or TikTok, Instagram, Facebook at mindsetunicorn, although I'm most active on um, Instagram. Okay. So it's really interesting here. Okay. Because right. We need the sun to grow, right? The sun, we all get excited as we move into spring because we're getting more sunshine, right? And you've got the sun with your ancestors, very four of wands, right? It's like this celebration of rebirth. It's like the continuation of, right? Like your tribe of growing up, um, you could be watching like family members graduate, right? But all of it is transforming your universe and you're seeing things from a different aspect. Okay. It's healing you in many ways. All right. But you're really coming through here. It's like a pause. Like you stopped because of all of this, you stopped and you're really looking at the past. Okay. What have I manifested? What will I manifest? Okay. Which is a very beautiful energy. Okay, so. Okay, you're aspecting the sun, right? You are aspecting the sun, right? Okay. Having some endings, right? The world, things are changing under this transformation. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Part of this is balancing you, justice. Oof, that's too many, Spirit, but. Yep, there's some balance there again, right? Justice is balance. Very much about balancing things. Thank you. And that's funny because the only card that was singular when I dropped down below was the one that came out a second time. So that's how I know Spirit really wanted that to be the heart of the reading. Okay. And then you're, right, you are making a wish. Okay, the star. Making a wish. Underlying energy here is there's a lot of healing going on within, right, foundation, okay, which really makes sense, right? We had, again, that frankincense, right, is very, very grounding, and so uh, it's just really a, a beautiful energy. 
Okay, so the sun here, right? This spring energy, this sun energy, this growth, okay, of um, just, it's almost like, right again, like family growing up around you. It's leading you to a new path in life and it feels very joyous, very blessed. I really like that. Okay, the world energy here, Knight of Swords, okay, again, looking at the past, right, really being very mindful of where you've been. Um, Ace of Swords in reverse, because you don't want to repeat cycles and you're not 100% sure. Um, you're like, listen, I mean, because look, there's, you're, you're watching the smoke, right? You're watching um, where things are flowing. I don't want to repeat these cycles because we've got, again, a lot of arrows here, a page of arrows here and the three of arrows in reverse, right? As I'm coming out of this aspect, <coughs> right, of winter, the closing down of the whole world, and I'm coming out of it, I don't want to carry, <coughs> someone really needs to hear this, I don't want to carry any of that heartbreak with me. I just want to move into this, right? This very beautiful, okay, energy of, right? Like violet, calming, soothing, grounding. I'm ready for that. Okay, justice here. We've got the hermit, okay? For some of you, Right, as you have aspected page of arrows, right? You're looking at where perhaps you spent a lot of time looking at a friend, okay? Or a friendly situation that felt like it had a lot of that sun aspect on the other side of it. And you're realizing even if this has been at a distance, right? The heart of your reading here is the Three of Wands. I know, right? After looking at this long enough, I know what's going to fulfill me. Okay, I know I have an expectation here of where I'm going. I know it. However, right, to keep things balanced, I'm carrying, right, a lot of responsibility that uh, everything that I've put behind me not come back up. And that's a lot of expectation to put on yourself. That, oh no, I'm not, um, not going to let any of that come back up. So you can't process what you've been through, right? That could come back and bite you on the ass, all right? Keep that in mind. You're making a wish, okay? The Empress. You may have had very passionate connection with someone here where um, you never let them get into the emotional shell of your being. Perhaps because um, you kept everything inside. You were very bonded to this person, but you did not share it. Now, here's the thing. I don't know, um, I don't know what reading it was. I think it was one of the collectives, but I do think I wrote about it either in the community or on IG where like spirit showed me, right? That if the divine partner has fully chosen, no, I'm not going there. I'm not going to do it in this life, right? They're out. I was shown that because of the importance of these connections, that the higher self is going to detach from their life path and go support another soul energy. So this energy may come in, they're showing me, from a different walk, right? But it will feel very similar, okay? 
but you're wishing for this specific person. So they're telling me don't wish for that specific person, right? Keep it in the flow of the energy, right? Chariot in reverse. Understand, right, that, um, again, they're really just showing, right, the arrows pointing here at the past, okay? So it's saying don't ask for the past because what you will get will be the past, <laughs> okay? You want that energy that made you feel beautiful and light and all of that, okay? So let's go ahead and let's clarify here. All right, tell me about, okay, the sun, the fool, okay, crossed by the three of wands. All right, again, there's blessings that are coming. You know it, you know the path forward. Uh, you feel like everything's coming together, right? But it's also, right, it's all bound together. But there's this bound energy underneath here of the three of swords and again you're like but no I don't want to bring any three of swords forward I don't want to bring any of that I don't want to look at that right I'm ending that but if you're ending it without actually healing it you're not really ending it okay so the world okay knight of arrows okay there we've got the Queen of Wands. Again, there's an energy here that I feel you've, right, I'm watching this transformation. I know I've been very protective of even the nest egg, very protective of what I've, you know, allowed myself to process and do and experience. And there's a feeling of wanting to take your, right, I'm wanting to take that power back. I'm wanting to finally pull that wand out and, right, end that old cycle, move forward. But with the ace, of swords here in reverse how do I do that okay with how do I really know I'm not repeating a cycle well it's not looking on the surface right six of cups you have to feel it you have to feel for those roots you have to feel for that right that magic the blessings that are coming your way what really like what lit you up energetically from the past is what's going to light you up energetically here in the future. Okay. Page of Swords with that Three of Swords in reverse. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Ace of Swords in reverse. There is a truth. There's an aspect here about this energy that you do not want to look at. It was something that was a tower. It hurt you don't want to look at it okay that spirits shining the light on it okay okay the justice here is that you really did look at it and you know what made you happy in it okay page of Pentacles yeah there was this Illumination, perhaps that this made you feel many of the ways that you felt as a child, right? This was something that mirrored in you a lot of the wounds that you had to heal. And I feel like you did that, right? You worked through that. You are ready, right, for this fulfillment. You know it. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready to build my new world. 100% something divine eight and three right 11 I'm ready okay king of wands page of wands okay either there is this feeling that I can't 
I don't want to jinx it, say what makes me happy. There could be for some of you, not all of you, that there is, right? Between the King and Queen of Wands, there is a child. Maybe somebody wanted more children. But there's a lot of burden in that. And you're going to have to process how do you balance all of that, right? Because the world is not the same world that you went into when you were saying no. What is your wish here, okay? I feel like it's allowing an emotional connection here, okay? Empress energy, something that nurtures you. Page of Swords. Again, you know your truth better than anyone here. Four of Wands here on the bottom where, um, again, you've looked at this from the inside. Now you're ready to be on the outside of that, okay? The Lovers. Again, the King of Wands. For some of you, this is a reconciliation. Okay, I've got the Ace of Wands with the Four of Wands. Could be a reconciliation, uh, a deep soul bond, a marriage. Okay, but Spirit's reminding you here, right, that you want to create this differently, right? You want to be open. You want to be communicative. You want to be emotionally driven. Okay, chariot. Yep, and again, they're saying, right, the ace of wands, the four of wands, five of wands. Okay, chariot in reverse here. Don't be so impatient and don't rush in to where you kind of throw the four of wands and the ace of wands up in the air and it all blends together into more lessons, okay, that you repeat. Okay. Because, yeah, there we go, the tower on the bottom. Because it will, that's what it will repeat into. Okay? Tell me about this three of swords that's bound into this. Okay? <laughs> Nine of wands. Again, I feel like there was somebody withheld emotions here. And um, felt trapped in the situation. Okay, Six of Cups. Yeah, okay. We've got uh, the Hierophant, but in this energy, it is the oldest one. Again, the Ancestors. Okay, and the Fool. Right. Let your knowledge guide you to this new beginning, okay? Again, this is an energy where, right? The balance here is that you've looked at where you felt, right, in the past. Energies where you didn't feel like you could step into your full potential, your full truth, but look, now you can. Look at those at those antlers okay um and doing it very grounded okay the, they are deep 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 roots and for some of you it's like a reclaiming of your ancestral self okay and your culture and bringing that into the table, right? Into this connection. Yeah, again, we've got the four of wands on the bottom. Uh, maybe, right? Maybe you weren't able to bring your heritage, your culture into your marriage in the past. And that is what you are seeking for some of you. Okay? Because that ace of swords in reverse. Yeah, okay. Very interesting here.
okay. Seven of Wands. You had to be very careful about what you sh were showing and what you were not in the past. You don't want to go there anymore. Okay. So tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, very interesting here. Four of Pentacles, right? Like, um, could have been very disappointing to your family that you were not embracing where you came from, or could have been disappointing to you. And the Page of Wands here, right? Okay. There's the entanglement, the Eight of Swords. I understand how much not being in my own truth, whatever that truth is, hurt me more than it hurt anyone else. Okay, I understand now what people were saying to me. Okay, I understand it. Page of Swords here, the wish. Okay, Two of Cups. I want somebody that accepts me for who I am. Okay, King of Wands. All right, and there's the Emperor. Okay, I'm tired of <laughs> suit and tie, right? I'm tired of pretending. I'm tired of not, um, again, accepting how much I've grown and who I've grown into. The lesson here though, okay. Okay, again, we've got the King of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Queen of Cups, and okay, that Five of Wands again. Don't hide parts of yourself because then those secrets block you from the real emotional connection with love. And that's the lesson, right? Seven of Cups here. And I've got here the strength. Okay, strength and love is somebody that, right, sees who you are and loves you and accepts you for who you are, doesn't make you pull into, right, that devil's energy where you um, hide yourself. And I feel like that's really very important for you. Okay, so what do you want? Yeah. Okay. You want me to pull a celestial card here for you. Yeah. Okay. Again, Libra balance. Okay. Justice here. Okay. You understand how holding back a part of yourself hurt you. Okay. Took away your abilities took you into a place of um, addiction or obsession or, you know, secrets and hiding. Balance really is the key here, which is why you're trying to ground. Um, again, right, you need harmony. And that is what you are asking for in your relationships, right? Seventh house relationships, you know that. So let's go ahead and close it off here, all right, with an oracle card with the angel numbers. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'm going to uh, move into Patreon and look at a little more intimate look into this. Okay. Pay what you like. Donate what you feel you want to honor on the Patreon channel, okay? Okay. Okay. 
Eight, eight, the queen, the divine feminine. Okay, again, right? Uh, there has been an energy of really wanting to have that deep connection. No games, full truths. 1111, twin flame, right? Everything is possible. Again, I'm saying very divine connection here. And another 1111, compassion, okay? Your higher heart has opened. That's why you are feeling yourself so fully. And, right, it really does matter. So I hope this helps you if this is where we leave it. Okay, I hope you have a beautiful week. Make sure you hit that notification so you know when I drop another reading that calls out to you. Uh, and then for those of you heading over to Patreon, I will see you in a minute. All right, link is down below. Bye.